Kia ora te iwi, my name is Henerangi, I am the Communications Manager for Te Pua Waitanga o Ngāti Henerangi Iwi Trust and I hail from Te Ohaki Marae. Ngāti Henerangi is quite a small iwi in relation to our neighbours. We've got Ngāti Haua, we've got uh, Ngāti Raukaua who are massive in their own right. So what we've had to do is just be very strong in who we are and be very good at building relationships and maintaining those relationships. Luckily we have a really good staff who understand the importance of that and rather than going in like the big guns and kind of saying this is what we want, we've just nurtured those relationships in a very, I think, humble way. Every iwi entity has an opportunity to do something with their settlement and so over the years we've kind of thought about what uh, the iwi aspirations are and a lot of that was based in cultural identity and um, understanding our own cultural significance in this area. What we've done over the last couple of years is create avenues for that to happen and in different ways. So we created Wairere Mahi, that was the first uh, cab off the rank if you like. That was an avenue for us to bring people home. A lot of, through colonisation and intergenerational moves, people have left the area in search of mahi. So what we needed to do was create an avenue for them to come home. And the best way to do that was create, to create an opportunity for them to work. So that's where Wairere Mahi was born. Then we have uh, uh, Wairere Ako, which is our education sector, and that's how we work to advocate for whānau, trying to navigate the education system. And then we have Wairere Toy, which is kind of, when you talk about a means to an end, toy is the end. It's the cultural revitalisation, it's that identity, the whakapapa, understanding your tūranga waiwai in a real meaningful, authentic way. And that's where we get to with toy. So those are the three avenues of work that we have within Te Pua Waitanga o Ngāti Henerangi Iwi Trust. Those will grow, I'm sure, eventually, uh, but those are our areas of focus at the moment. With Wairere Mahi, it's a very direct way. So we take a person, we give them a paycheck. They're able to go home, the benefits come to their household, they're able to put food on their table and live a pretty comfortable life. Then we go to somewhere like Ako, and that benefit has come from taking a child in the classroom, focusing on what their needs are, then going home and spreading that to their whānau. So we are making a difference to another generation. And then we go to Toy and the work that they do and the benefits that come from that everyone is reaping those benefits and it's the cultural identity stuff and that's going to be the ongoing benefits that will help repair everything else that we've gone through and the legacy that we've had to live with in these, these decades before. Aloha, aloha awina la kako, o raukawa hoku kau kakai haka manning, ko ui noa, heuri tēnei no Ngāti Hinerangi, no Ngāti Whawhākia, no Ngāti Raukawa, no Ngā Kutopito katoa o tēnei rohe, anō nei no Ngā Moutere o Hawaii hoki. Kōkumahi, my role within Wairere Toy is a creative director, a creative lead. So we look after everything in regards to cultural awareness, cultural identity, and ensuring that everything within the iwi and Wairere Toy is culturally appropriate. Te ahunga mai o te ingoa o Wairere Toy, right? Te konei tātou, kei te putake o Wairere, ka tiro ake koe ki ngā kupu o te wai. So we're talking about the sacred, sacredness of our water, where it comes from. So the true essence of Wairere Toy comes from our wai. Our wai dere, ko ngā wai ariki, uh, ko ngā wai hau, ko ngā manga piko, ko ngā wai tēnā e whakaora nei i te hāpori, i te whenua, i ngā tangata, wena mea katoa. So without our wai, or our true essence, all our stories, all our lands, all of our kōrero, nothing will be enriched and alive, well and kicking. Our true essence of wai dere toi comes from the wai. Mena katiro hia koe te kupu toi, 
it talks about uh, creation. So not just art or moko or painting or ko fai fai, but um, some form of creation. So in atu koe ki ngā kōrero rangi rāwa ko papa, that's where our essence comes from. E pūtake tanga mai o te ao Māori. A tiro ake koe ki ngā hua tanga o te pō, everything starts in darkness and confusion and chaos. A tau mai koe ki te ao mārama ko ngā kōrero a rangi me papa e noho piri tata ana, Ana ko tāne tēnā i wāinga nui i wehe i a rāua ka tau atu ko te ao mārama. And that's our main inspiration for all of our mahi. Me waihanga tia i tō ao pe rākia tāne. So that you can make your will just like tāne did. So waihanga tia i tō ao, so you can make your own will. And that's the, the, the seed we are trying to plant back here. So everyone within this iwi, within this rohe, and hopefully spreading out all throughout, feels that same thing. Whatever kupu you want to use, mana, maori, uh, ko te wehi, ko te tapu, I would think is the true essence of not just what it is toy, but who we are as Māori. And we're trying to re-strengthen that back here. Ko mātou whāinga, ko mātou moe moe a, ka utonu mai ngā mahi o ngā trustees. So our objectives, all of our wawata and the things we want to do come from our trustees. Aha koa whenua mai, whether it's with our whenua, aha koa tangata mai, with everyone in the hapori, aha koa rangatahi mai, whether it's in the kura, um, up into adults and corporations, instilling, planting, ngā kupu katoa ai pāna ki te whakatō kākano Māori i roto i tēnei rohe, so that we can, our main objective is to normalise te ao Māori within this rohe. Ina ina te maha hoki o ngā wero kwa, kwa tai mai uh, ki tēnei o ngā ope. It's a lot of challenges, not ahead, but that have been set from, from the way back since the beginning, whether it's got to do with intergenerational trauma, and the effects of colonization. So our, our main purpose is trying to decolonize every little space. Um, our biggest focus is amongst our own people, so making sure that they feel nurtured and fully embraced from this our Māori. Personally, right? So all of this mahi we do is, is what, what he's taught us to do. So this is carrying on his legacy meki. Um, ko ngā mahi kapaka, ko ngā mahi whai kōrero, ko ngā mahi mātauranga me ki, te mau tonu i ngā kōrero ao mātau nei tūpuna. So holding on to that treasure or that knowledge I think is a very big, big win that makes all of us feel good. He, 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 he maringa tino nui mā tātou to be able to not just share these things but first learn all of these things and be trusted from our trustees or our nana and our kuia to share all of this information within this rohe. Ko Tim Toko Ingoa, ko Te Ohaki Toku Marae, and I'm the manager of Wairere Mahi. The most important aspect of Wairere Mahi is our kaupapa Māori. That is shown through our karakia that we do every day before we head out. We also uh, include karakia on site, including our main contractors. Uh, that's just to bless our site and everything that we do there. Other things that we do are tikanga Māori or tikanga classes, wānanga, and that's just including all our whānau that are employed through wārere mahi, wārere toi, wārere ako, uh, just to give them an opportunity where previous generations never had that opportunity to learn in a safe environment. And as we learn together, we all grow together, and that makes us a better organisation. The main objectives of wārere mahi are to bring people home. Previously, they would have gone either out of town or out of our country to look for mahi with wairere mahi starting is giving them the opportunity to come back and reconnect with their whenua as well as find meaningful employment. The number of people we started with in July 2020 was eight then had a full expansion of up to 32 staff which included kaumahi as well as admin staff. When wairere mahi was established we had one of our kaumato that was looking for work but he also had a lot of knowledge that he could pass on to everybody. And his age is 64. And just recently we've taken on some new guys, younger guys that are looking for mahi, or a way, way to get into mahi. And the youngest age there is 16, so it's quite a wide range of ages. Soak Away was one of the first schemes that we got brought into with the Shovel Ready project. But now it's become more of a maintenance program, so it's given us the opportunity to go in there and maintain, do the gardens, do the Soak Away and it's given an opportunity for uh, our people to reconnect with the land, especially around Manawaru area, which was quite um, spiritual to us. Presently, we're working for the Department of Conservation. One of the jobs that we're working on at the moment is um, to do track, as you can see on our left-hand side. Doc never had the opportunity or the resources to do that track by hand, so our crew have come in, and as you can see here, they've done an unbelievable job of cutting into a hillside 
that was previously no one could look at any sort of track through there. Historical aspect of the track to Ngāti Hinerangi is that it was previously used to as a pass over to Piridako and Tauranga Moana uh, and that was a trade route as well as a travel route. You have your north and south track which runs across the top. Doc wanted to establish that original track back in and through our historical files and Doc's historical files that's what's led us to this operation here. Mm. Taking it around the side of the hill and up to the bottom of the Nahiri. Uh, the other contract that we have is uh, pest control and so that's given us the opportunity to enter that market to become kaitiaki of our whenua. Wairere Falls hasn't been upgraded for a number of years simply because Doc had never had the numbers to do that job so with an opportunity and our guys we've been able to go in and realign some of the track. Kia ora ko mana whaosa tōku ingoa um, work for Wairere Mahi Ngāti Hinerangi what we're doing today was we're making a drain so the water can flow off the um, track so it doesn't make the track any muddier. So we're um, labourers maintaining the track, so we're the track crew. So anything that needs to be done in the bush, we make sure it's nice and good for the, um, the people to come up and um, walk up here, see the, the view, things like that. We're just maintaining the track. To make it nice for people to come up the Ngahiri. Yeah, 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 I enjoy it a lot. I learnt a lot from this job. Whānau ko tanga. So everyone's so close. And we look after each other and make sure everyone go home safe and happy to their family. And yeah. I think most people that have been up there have seen how bad the track is. So they've gone and realigned it. And that's going to be right from the bottom all the way to the top. As well as other projects that will be connected with it which is a pest control. So our pest control contract uh, is in conjunction with Kaimai Mamaku Trust as well as Department of Conservation. Uh, our first block of land that we're working on is Wairere Falls and they're doing a 20 hectare block at the bottom of the falls. Uh, my role in the, in the Ngāti Unarangi Trust Wairere Mahi is uh, project manager of the pest, pest management or pest control project. Probably the biggest thing I love about my mahi is that katai o te hoatu i te mātauranga ki ngā rangatahi, katai te mahi ki roto i te tai ao, ki roto i te wao nui a tāne. I get to be out in the bush every day, enjoying our bush first and foremost, but empowering myself by being on our own whenua, working for our own people, working for our own causes to bring back the manu to our forest and to revitalise our whenua. My, my actual role is a kaitiaki, which I like to word it as, Pest control is what we do, but kaitiaki tanga o te ngahere, kaitiaki tanga o ngā wai, kaitiaki tanga o te tangata, koirata mate mahi. Uh, that, that's what's um, brilliant about my job. Is I get an opportunity to portray to our iwi and to our people what um, what our we were always capable of. So it's just that the opportunities come around to give our rangatahi some mātauranga and push them down the path so that they become the future for our iwi and our trust. The main pest over there is possums. Once that's eradicated, then it becomes stoats and then rats. It's not a short-term project, so the results you won't see overnight. You won't even see in the next five years. It's a, it's a long-term project. So it's for us, it's a foot in the door, and then it's bringing through our rangatahi to start coming through, and then they continue it. So it's not going to be happening overnight. So the whole area of the project is 1,500 hectares, which spans from Tatui Track right along Wairere Falls, right along to just before Wairongamai. Some of the positive outcomes that we've had, people have been able to advance their careers beyond where they think they, they could have been. Being in this environment has encouraged them and given them that mana that they are that good. Whereas previously in mainstream jobs, they would have been kept to a certain position and not looked at to advancing, but through us they have. Uh, so the training aspect of the job was funded by Ministry of Social Development, uh, which meant we could take a lot of our staff into areas that they couldn't normally, or they wouldn't normally look at. So traffic management, we had everybody go through traffic management. We had five go through and do their STMS, which means they're able to run a site at a traffic management level. First aid, a general one, we just got that, because that's everyone should have first aid, whether it be in a personal environment, work environment, you know. Also, uh, we've done chainsaw operating. From working in our first year on the Nahere, we realised that it would be beneficial 
to wherever, whatever block of work that we were looking at. So chainsaw operators, as well as, well as Grow Safe, which is a chemical handling course. So obviously, working on farms, doing this sort of jobs, they need sort of some sort of weed control. And so you can only use chemicals if you have that certificate. Oh, Mark, I'll go. My name is Donna Marie Leaf. I am of Ngati Hinerangi, Ngati Rangi, Ngati Raukawa, Ngati Rangi Nui descent. I currently work for Ngati Hinerangi under the area of Wairereako. So Wairereako with Ngati Hinerangi first started in uh, February 2021 and it's about our whānau, it's about our tamariki succeeding in schools. The main objectives for Wairereako are to build or strengthen those relationships um, with the schools, our whānau, parents, community and our iwi, therefore leading to better learning outcomes for our tamariki. What did you do over the holiday? I went to the movie, sing, saw Sing 2. That's very cool, there you go. Remember how do we start a sentence? Is it capital a, I. Yep, with capital letters. Yep, and then, uh, and then a little W. Good. Perfect. For me, it's about coming into the schools and meeting first with our tamariki, getting to know them, and becoming that familiar face or that auntie figure that they can come to if, if there's a need, and also for our whānau to be able to come to. I suppose I've been lucky um, with the experience and previous work history that I've held. I've been able to go out to the whānau and say, come on, we need you, our kids need you. And they've come on board with me and said, yeah, okay. So it's walking beside them, not, not in front of them, not behind them, but beside them to close those gaps up. The biggest one that we've experienced is that, first of all, whānau have opened their doors and allowed us to come in. So with that happening, we've been able to strengthen our, um, our relationships with whānau and make those connections, make those bonds stronger. So from there, um, I've had referrals that have come through the schools. Schools have contacted us and said, hey, can you help us? We've got a whānau here that needs your help. And I said, yeah, absolutely. So then I've made contact with the whānau, gone into their homes. We've sat, we've kōreroed, and then together we've gone into the schools. So this morning I'll be heading out to the intermediate mm -hmm. to look at the rongohia te hau, and then this afternoon I'll go over to the college. Me and Jordan will be putting in some stuff in place around our new ones coming in. Great. Can you update me on the behavioural management Absolutely. program? That's awesome. Fine. We've had a couple of our tauira, our students, who have just absolutely turned and said, we don't want to go back to school. So step by step with whānau, um, even getting the kaumātua and we've managed to walk these kids back into the school and say, you know what, it's okay, we're here. And that's a success for them to go back to school, to lift their heads and say, yeah, you know what, I want to be here. Yeah, This role is absolutely important. It's been um, a long needed role. Um, and with Ngāti Hinerangi being local, being able to make the connections to this area and to whānau, it is what our people have needed. And it's what our schools have needed, it's what our tamariki need. When this role was first advertised, I, when I saw it, I thought, wow, that's what I want to do. Um, I put my application in and believe me, I prayed. I prayed, please, please, please. When I got it, oh, I was overwhelmed with it. And then when I first came into the school and I saw the kids, I knew straight away, this is me. This is where I need to be. This is where I want to be. And I saw our children, you know, and, and they looked at me, auntie, auntie, and that's what I want to be. I want to be auntie to them, that person they can come to and say, auntie, can you help me? It actually, it's my dream job. Yeah. Do you want to now um, draw a picture of you and your family at the movie theatre? 
Yeah. Okay, and what you watched. Good boy. So the role that I fill is iwi support person for Te Pua Waitanga or Ngāti Hinarangi Iwi Trust. And that was presented to me last year. The opportunity came about and because I have worked as a iwi support person, teacher aid. I was much, much a college for over nine years, so that's my background to it. So this was the perfect opportunity to extend what we wanted to do here in the iwi. So I basically head into school every day for the hours that I've been allocated and work alongside of students and get them excited about everything. Really lucky to have um, the chance to work at first primary where all the teachers that are so on board, like uh, the rest of our kura that we have within our iwi, and to work with other kids that are also in the class. So uh, once my student and I are all set up for the day or he's um, concentrating on his um, mahi at the time, the students at our table, um, I can interact with them and give them a helping hand as well. Water at the movies. So during the movie? Yeah, during oh. the movie. How do you spell during? How do you spell during? D-U-R-I-N-G. Perfect. There's been a need for this for a very long time. So going back to when I worked um, with the college, which was back in uh, 2013 is when I finished there, there was a need in the secondary school, obviously. Having this in the primary sector will help this immensely because then we don't have to wait for the child to get to college age. We've already got them. We've got that support there for them, as well as interacting <coughs> with the whānau. And here in Mashamata, that's huge. Uh, we, as Wairere Ako, are trying to bridge whānau engagement with the schools. Um, and we're trying to break down a few more barriers that are still in uh, the Ministry of Education. I sat at home yesterday because I've got to do a paper for our needs and our wants within this community for supporting our kids. And I thought about that for a very long time and our kids are slipping through the system and this is nothing new. It's nothing new to the uh, Ministry of Education, it's nothing new to this community or the teachers in it. So my job and my vision is to get those kids before they are fully gone and to help the whanau because that's where it really starts to, to re-educate them. So the positive effects that I've seen with the support that I've been giving, not only by myself, but by Wairere Toi, is the engagement of uh, Māori Tawira. So they are smiling when they get to school. When I see my students outside of the classroom, they're still smiling because they're not expecting to see me at the same places that they are at, at their marae or in their homes, because that's not the norm when it comes to teachers. As far as the education side of it, absolutely, uh, because they are more, uh, the attention is better, they're working harder, they can see the success for themselves, and you can see the pride written all over their faces, and then what that helps them to be are leaders um, for the rest of the class and the tamariki that are there. For education, the lockdowns have obviously affected everybody. And our kids, as resilient as they are, uh, it has affected them hugely. So if our parents, if our whānau um, can get on board with technology, uh, would be huge. That, that helps the schools, it helps the kids, and it helps me. This community is small and it's growing. And for all of the whānau that are returning home, don't be scared of the people that they may have been afraid of when they left. Times have changed and they need to be a part of that. Positive changes have come with people who have come home from Australia, from um, Hawaii. There have been all these people who have found a way to bring their expertise home and meet whānau that they've never met before, reconnect. Now these people are going to work every day. They're learning their own connections. They're learning about their marae. They're learning about how we are actually all related and connected. Um, those, that's probably been 
the biggest positive outcome for us is that connection. We started off with just eight trustees and two staff members and now we've gone to 27 staff across the organisation. They're all based in Matamata so we're working in the community, uh, everyone's there on the ground and they're all in one building so we all get to know each other really well and understand the intricate parts of each other's jobs. We didn't get a huge settlement in, re in relation to other, other iwi settlements, but if we, we understand that if we have the right people on board and we use it wisely, we can actually do great things with it. We already have in the last two years. One major thing that's probably come up in the last year is that we bought a farm. So we've gone from being an iwi that was landless, essentially, to having various parcels of land, but one that includes a massive 72 hectare farm and if you're looking at Waitiri Falls, it's just on the left-hand side. So that's a huge uh, undertaking for us, um, something that we've never dabbled in before. However, um, we do have some new trustees that are coming on board who are going to really make sure that we're looking after these assets and nurturing them in a way that we should be so that our iwi can get maximum benefit off them. In Ngāti Maha, there's, there's a lot we want done. There's a lot of work to do to get there. But I think in, in a simple, easy explanation, we're trying to provide some type of platform, a vehicle, or some... I roto i te reo Māori he wānanga. Kia tāia ai, e nei tamariki, e nei tangata katoa, all the people that we're teaching, so they can come into this wānanga. So that they can do what we do in the schools now, and carry on all of these things, and that's our rotaki to keep the pai filled. But creating some type of platform that ensures the whakatupuranga of our iwi. My dream for Wairere Mahi 10, 20 years time is to see it become a very prominent work stream within Matamata, same as Swaps, same as Dalton's, and just still keep providing that avenue for our rangatahi that are looking for something but they don't know what they're doing, and it just helps to hone them in. All our rangatahi that we've had on, they seem to focus more when they're with Fano. It just gives them that bit of realisation that this is what it's for. It's for, it's for you, it's for your parents, it's for your... Grandparents. My dream would be to see our tamariki succeeding or their learning outcomes lifted with the support of Fano, school and iwi and communities working alongside them and us all coming through together and saying we did this, we did this together. The point of all of this, I suppose we have to remember this, that with every decision that we make and every business opportunity that we take up, not only are our people gaining an understanding of who they are, but wherever they are in the country or wherever they, w they are in the world, that they're strong in their Ngāti Henerangitanga um, and that they pass that on to our future generations.